Welcome to another episode of the Grow Venture Community Podcast. Today we have Helen Keegan with us, who we will be interviewing discussing the upcoming World Mobile Congress, as well as the Heroes of Mobile Fringe Festival. Helen, welcome. It's nice Hi. to have you on here. Thank you. It's, it's good to be back. So I guess let's begin. Tell us a little bit about yourself. And also, I hear you were in a play this weekend. <laughs> yes, that's right. So for the day job, I'm a consultant in mobile marketing, advertising and media, working mainly with media owners uh, in the Nordic region and the UK and in the US. And I also do some developer relations work with some of the handset manufacturers and network operators. So uh, recently I worked with Vodafone on the Vodafone Foundation Smart Accessibility Awards. And I also uh, work with them on some of their startup initiatives. Uh, when I'm not doing that, uh, I organise my own networking events. So I've been running the Swedish Beers networking parties in London and Barcelona now for, this is our 11th year. And uh, this year I've set up the Heroes of the Mobile Fringe Festival to complement, kind of, or be the off-Broadway, if you like, the Mobile World Congress's Broadway. Sounds good. Now, in regards to Vodafone, um, tell me a little about the startup initiatives that you worked on with them. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, for three years in a row, I ran the Vodafone Mobile Clicks uh, competition for the UK uh, arm of it and helped Vodafone with the promotion and marketing of that and helped them find the right startups and um, getting the message out within the startup community that the awards existed and that they were no strings attached awards, which uh, is sometimes unusual because when you read the season seeds for some of these awards where there are big prizes, you have to sell your soul to the uh, event and competition organizer. But that's not the case with Vodafone, I'm very pleased to say. That's very good. Now, in moving and talking in regards to the Mobile World Congress, um, I saw that you've got your online site, Techno Kitten, where you have your online presence. Tell me a little about your site. Sure. So technokitten.com is where I've been blogging about mobile marketing, advertising and media for the last six, seven years or so. And then uh, my Fringe Festival site is at mobileheroes.net. And that's where you'll find all the kind of side events that are going on uh, the week of Mobile World Congress. So it's lots of small meetups. There's lots of parties there. Uh, there's a couple of dinners. Um, I'm co-hosting a lunch with uh, Mike Butcher from TechCrunch Europe for startups and, and the investor scene. And I'm also doing innovation on the fringe on the Sunday afternoon, so the day before Mobile World Congress starts, again aimed for investors and startups to get to know each other a bit better and, and to discuss some of the key issues and thrash those out. But there's something for everyone. We're covering mobile marketing and advertising, mobile media, emerging markets, the startup scene, uh, privacy and security, mobile payments. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And for people interested in information about the startup events, about the Mobile Fringe Festival, would they go onto your website or where's the best place to go to get information and to sign up for the events? Uh, so they can find event listings at mobileheroes.net. So M for mother, O-B-I-L-E-H-E-R-O-E-S dot net. And at the top, they'll, they'll see a menu and just click on the events button. And you'll see a list of all the events that we have as part of the Fringe Festival. Now, some of them are sold out now, um, but I've tried to mark where those are sold out. But we've got new events being added every day. So just because something is sold out, there might be a waiting list or something new might be popping up in its place anyway. And most of the parties you can still RSVP for as well. Okay. Now, fringe festivals are stereotypically associated more with the arts scene. Um, tell me about where the idea came to do a mobile fringe festival. Um, you're quite right. It, it has come from the arts scene. And my background, I suppose, before I got into technology was in the arts. Uh, so I was in a play myself this week in a production of Julius Caesar at my local uh, theatre group. And um, I'm a big fan of festivals generally, music festivals and arts festivals. Uh, and I also love Mobile World Congress. I've been going ever since it moved to Barcelona, which I think was seven years ago now. I've always run my own events there. So I've always done the Swedish Beers Party. I've always done a ladies lunch. And I've usually done a panel session or two as well. Uh, and I know lots of people 
who do that too. Uh, people like me who've got their own kind of events going on or their own party or their own networking group. And I figured that sometimes these are quite hard to find. And I get asked every single year kind of two key questions. How do I get a ticket for Mobile World Congress? And what should I do when I'm there? And instead of kind of write, rewriting the same email over and over again, I decided to kind of bring it all under one umbrella brand, uh, which is an extension of a conference brand I created a couple of years ago and call it a fringe festival and call it Mo Heroes of the Mobile Fringe, because I think lots of the people kind of on the fringes of the industry might not be so well known, but actually are our heroes either today or, or for the future. I was going to say it's very much community oriented. So having spent the last four years as well actively involved in the Mobile Monday community globally, um, it is about allowing access to people who might not feel they can do this stuff or can put on their own events or feel a bit constrained by finances. Um, and this is a way that they can still participate, uh, find new ways of networking, find new knowledge and find new business partners and contacts. So, so it's kind of like open source. Um, conferencing, if you like. That no, sounds very interesting. Now, given your involvement in the mobile market, especially having been to the Mobile World Congress in the past seven years, tell me a little about some of the changes from your point of view in the mobile industry, as well as maybe some of the latest trends that you look forward to seeing in this year's Congress. Sure. I suppose the biggest change is the rise of the developer and the rise of the de developer community. And we're seeing many more hackathons and kind of bar camps and unconferences and whip jam is growing from strength to strength. So with this, we're seeing new things emerge all the time and that kind of um, ground up community um, getting traction and creating new things. And out of those are now coming businesses uh, and new ideas for businesses. So I'm very encouraged by that. With the rise of Android as well as um, a competitive platform to iOS and now Windows Phone and obviously we've got BlackBerry, there are opportunities for developers. And that has grown from strength to strength, particularly probably over the last three years or so at Mobile World Congress. And now the kind of developer side of things are very much at the heart of App Planet and at the heart of the future of our mobile industry, because it's not about the big network operators providing us with great voice or, or bandwidth. It's about what we do with that voice and that bandwidth that is creating the new business opportunities in the new economy. Perfect. Now, as far as the startup scene that you mentioned in your upcoming events, especially at the French Festival, how would a mobile startup that is looking for funding, which event or how would you recommend them go about and their attendance at the Mobile French Festival as well as at the Mobile World Congress? Sure. Um, well, my top tips are really to mix it up. Um, there are some events that I'm organising that are specifically aimed at startups and investors. Uh, the one is Innovation on the Fringe, which is Sunday afternoon. We've got a couple of discuss discussion panels and we've got room for 10 startups to do a quick two minute demo of what they're doing and have two minutes for questions. So those demo spots at, at the Innovation on the Fringe event are not pitches for investors. They're more show and tell style but investors will be in the room and network operators and handset manufacturers. It's free to apply and the links are on, on the website and I'll share those with you so that you can share them by text as well. I'm also working with Mike Butcher on the TechCrunch lunch, which is on the Monday of uh, Mobile World Congress. T are, tickets are on sale for that right now uh, and startups can uh, apply for a demo pod. So I think we've got four left, maybe five left. Uh, and that's an easy way of a startup getting some attention without having to spend lots and lots of money to buy um, an ex exhibition stand that would be tens of thousands of pounds. They can just spend a few hundred euros with us or indeed just attend the lunch and mingle. On top of that, I would recommend that some startups make an effort to try and plan meetings with people they need to see, but don't book out their whole diary so that they allow time for chance meetings and to um, go and discover some new things and some new people to mix with. And also to allow time to mix at the networking parties, because you just never know who you might end up standing next to, who could be kind of your next paycheck or your next partner or introduce you to someone that could change your business life.